Here's a story called Excavating Clients, and it was shared with me at a young entrepreneurs organization meeting where I did a confession session and asked people to share their most embarrassing moment. In this story, Mark attempts to construct a very big sale. So it's first thing in the morning, and we had a last minute pitch to make. The president of our Chicago ad agency heard that a Milwaukee-based crane association was reviewing their programs, and he told me to call and ask for an appointment today before they finalized any decisions. I called and practically begged for the meeting. Then I drove two hours up I-94, completely confident that we still had a great shot at landing the ad campaign. See, we handled loads of construction companies. I brought custom flyers and tons of testimonials and impressive pictures of earth moving equipment. On cruise control, my cruise control was set on 70. I smiled as passed from Illinois into Wisconsin. There must have been six or eight crane rental companies along the highway. And if you believed in omens, you'd feel pretty good about this sales call. So I get there and I pull up in front of the front door to discover the association's logo was a crane. You know, the bird with the long neck. That's a cool idea. Some nonprofits do a really good job of marketing themselves. Well, the reception area was quiet and beautifully decorated. The walls were covered with cranes, hundreds of hundreds of cranes, the birds. The association was for the preservation of, well, the other cranes. <laughs> I met the decision maker and presented our company's offerings anyway, but I was really rattled by our mistake. Most of my mental attention was just anger at my president. The executive director sat through the most uninspired sales conversation she'd ever encountered, and I felt just stupid being there. I left the association empty-handed with my tail feathers between my legs. And I had the special pleasure of being the butt of office jokes for several months. Now, even if I'm in a hurry, I do some homework on all my clients. Here's your post-mortem, and this is an easy one. His mistake is pretty funny, and his company is well niched in a specific business. But as he pointed out, you have to do your homework. And now with all the digital tools at our fingertips, things like LinkedIn, LinkedIn or even Facebook, if you want to get a little personal insights into your buyers, we need to do our homework ahead of time. So don't go off on a sales call with planning on what you want to have happen and definitely don't go off without doing your homework.